guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Kim and today I'm gonna do a review for you of the Makeup Forever HD primer I don't know if he's in shot or not but my cat is on my lap because he insists on being on this video um, so let me just hold him up so you guys can see can you guys see him I'm sure you can see him he's a huge cat but hopefully he will sit here and behave so I can do this review for you um, today I'm doing a review of the Makeup Forever HD foundation Hopefully he doesn't have me shaking and this is coming out clearly. Um, I wear the shade 180 and this retails for $42. I picked mine up at the Sephora VIB event, I think it was about three weeks ago. And I've been wearing it steadily um, to work um, for the past two weeks. So exactly ten days I have worn this. I, ha I didn't skip a day. Um, I got this foundation with the Makeup Forever HD Complexion Kit that Sephora is um, offering which included um, a kabuki brush, a sample, a sample size of the Micro Perfecting Primer, and a, a small size of the HD powder that everybody raves about. So let me see. What can I say about this foundation? Um, I love this foundation. I have never worn a foundation to work two weeks straight. Uh, my coworkers were shocked that I was wearing it. Because I never, I really never do. Sometimes I wear, if I'm going out that night after work, I'll put on foundation. Otherwise, I really can't be bothered. But this foundation is so light that it doesn't even bother me to put it on. I put it on at about quarter after six in the morning, take it off when I get home, and it is just as fine when I get home as it was when I left. It feels light. I don't even notice that I have it on. Um... Let me see. What else can I say about it? I have been wearing the primer that came in the kit. Either that or I've been wearing a sample of um, the Makeup Forever primer. I think it's the pink one or the purple one. It's number seven. I'm sorry. I can't think off the top of my head which color she told me it was. But it's supposed to reduce the yellow tones in my skin so that this will look even better. That's what she told me. Um, the MAS Sephora. So, um, this foundation, as I said, is very light. I wear mine, oh, come on cat, I wear mine with the, um, I apply mine, sorry, with the e.l.f. powder brush. This brush is fantastic. It's what I use with every foundation I have, every liquid foundation, which is the only kind I wear that I have, I apply it with this brush. So, it really helped me to see that, yeah, you know, to tell the difference between this and, say, Revlon Color Stay or Clinique. Um, this applies in less than 10 minutes. If I'm paying attention and I'm really making sure what time I get out the door to go to work, then it, yeah, it takes me, um, no time to put on the primer, the foundation, and the powder when I did wear it. Um, so that is a confession. I didn't wear the powder every day. I don't like wearing powder. I hardly ever do wear powder when I put on foundation. Um, I just don't like the feel of it. Um, the HD powder um, make, from Makeup Forever is very nice. The days that I did wear, I did notice that my skin had more of a perfect effect, but I just don't like wearing powder. Um, would I buy the full size of that um, powder? I don't. I, I doubt it. I mean, if it was on sale, I would buy it, but at full price, I don't think I would buy it. Now, I have some of um, this foundation on the back of my hand. I'm not going to put on any more because um, this cat is going to go crazy and probably knock it off me. Okay, thank you for getting off. So, he's gone now. So, um, yeah, this foundation feels great. Um, it's $42. That's a lot of money. Um, there are foundations that cost more than that. But $42 is a lot of money for 1.01 .01 fluid ounces. I know that you know that. Um, would I buy this again? Yes. I would buy it again. I plan to buy it again. Hopefully then I will stop making this um, shade because it's. I love it. So um, I, I wear it to work. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, it takes no time to blend out and make sure that I, you know, I get an even face. I use two and a half to three pumps depending on how much I want to cover. I do have a couple of scars. I don't know if it's going to pick up. I do have a couple of scars on my cheeks from some uh, cystic acne that I had a couple of years ago. But um, depending on how much of that I want to cover, I put it on. And it's really, a, really a good foundation. Um, like I said, it takes no time to put on. It feels light. It doesn't feel like a foundation. I can feel color stay much more than I can feel this. So, 
I think it's really worth the price. Um, Make it forever. I don't even know how many shades they have, but I'm sure they have a shade for you. Um, if you can go into Sephora or to a Make It Forever store and get them to, um, you know, match you, then I think it's worth the money. If you just want to go in, like I usually say in all of my videos, and just get a sample, go get the sample. But I think it is worth the price. And like I said, I do plan to buy it again. Um, let me see what else can I say about it. The, the packaging is very nice. I think it's very sleek, very slick. Um, you know, you got a nice black um, cap. Then you have a nice pump, which is is like worth its weight in gold. Because and as much as I love colors, they trying to pour that stuff out on my hand. I always pour it out too much. Then I waste some, or I'm being cheap and trying to apply everything to my face, and my face looks cakey. So this, with this, I can measure every day how much is going to be on my face. If I normally put in two pumps, then every day I get two pumps. So that is perfect. Um, what else can I say? As I said, I got this in the um, HD complexion kit. I think that's what it's called. And um, the primer sample that came with it, it's, it's good. It has a nice smell. It feels very smooth on my skin, so I, that, that's always great. But um, I don't know if I would buy it again. I think I might try and buy back my Revlon, oh gosh, it's a clear foundation. I can't think of the name right now, guys, but I'm going to put uh, the name of this foundation primer that I used to use. It came with the the Revlon foundation that was in like a, the matching one, the one that you put it on and it will match your skin. There's a primer that comes with it, clear gel, that was the best primer I ever used. Hand that didn't matter what foundation I use. It always looks good. So I'm going to try and put an annotation or just put below what the name of that is. But it just like totally skipped out of my head right now. But um, I'm going to put that below. I'll put it somewhere. Um, I don't know if I would buy back the um, Makeup Forever primer if it was on sale. Like I said about the powder, maybe I would buy it again. But otherwise, I think I'm going to get that primer back from Revlon. See how that applies with this. And then I can really be sure. Um, underneath my foundation today, I have on Full of Grace Facial Serum from Lush. Um, and that felt very good, putting this foundation on top of that. You know, I put that as my moisturizer, and then I put the HD serum, um, sorry, the HD primer, and then I put the foundation. Today, I did put on the, um, the powder. I, it felt good today. I don't know if it's because of the Full of Grace, but it felt I didn't feel too, too dry afterwards. I always, no matter what foundation I'm wearing, spritz on a layer of tea tree water from Lush. It's just what I like to do. I'm not saying it's a setting spray, but it just makes me feel better before I leave the house. I feel like I'm sure I'm not powdery. It, ju it just feels good to me. And I do usually carry around a little spray bottle of it throughout the day. Just, you know, I just, I, I do it even if I'm not wearing foundation because the tea tree water from Lush just makes my skin feel refreshed. I'm going to do a review on that. I have a lot of Lush reviews to do because I've been using their products for over two years. So I have a lot of those. So if anyone likes Lush or you're interested in Lush, um, comment down below. I probably have the product. If I don't have it on me right now, then I have had it and I will, I will do a review no problem. But um, back to this foundation. Um, in all, I would out of 10, I would give this a 9.5. Only because I really don't think any product is completely perfect. Um, but it's it's been doing a great job for me. I've gotten nothing but compliments about it. I feel confident when I'm wearing it. That it's blended in properly. That it looks nice. That my skin looks nice. That it's um, covering some of the flaws of my skin. But not that I'm wearing a latex max or something on my face. So that's always great. Um, what else can I say about it? Other than that, I would just say, you know, $42 is a lot of money, but if you can go in and get your match and get a sample and try it out and see if you like the way it feels on your skin, if you like the way it looks on your skin, then I think you will be open to spending that. I mean, unless you're wearing like four or five pumps every day, I mean, this should last for a good long while. Like, I'm, I bought mine in November maybe a year will come before I have to buy another one because I only wear it to go to work or if I'm going out so you know I put it on today this is a Saturday I put it on today so I could do the review for you guys but I wouldn't normally wear foundation on a Saturday if I'm just going around to do errands but um yeah I think it's worth the money and like I would say with anything you know especially expensive products 
if you're not sure about it get a sample but um yeah i i really do recommend this foundation um thank you to the viewer who um requested this um review i cannot remember your name right now but i'll try and put it down because i really appreciate you asking for it if you guys have any um other reviews you'd like please leave it down below i do have a review of the clinique even better um foundation on my channel so check that out but anything else um I'd be happy to do. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it if you enjoyed the review. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, especially if you like um, Lush products, uh, cosmetic products. I have plenty of reviews coming up. I'm going to try and shoot some more right now if this cat will leave me alone. But um, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.